This lesson was prepared by Josh Minich and Sam Drarup as part of the National Science Foundation supported Boat of Knowledge in the Science Classroom, or BOOKS. This lesson covers the topics of bacteria with regards to water quality testing and the water quality index. This lesson is to be presented in conjunction with the virtual boat game available at the App Store. We will begin this lesson by testing water samples for E. coli contamination. Break into groups of three to four students and select one of the available water samples. Transfer one milliliter of the water sample into the Easy Gel container. Gently mix the solution and the sample by swirling. Try to avoid generating bubbles. Pour the mixture into the Petri dish, allow the agar to set, and then place the Petri dish in an incubator for 24 hours. After the incubation, count the number of red and blue colonies on the Petri dish. Pause this video to complete this activity. Bacteria are in the kingdom Protista, living cells that are not animals or plants. They are prokaryotic, meaning they do not have membrane-bound organelles. They were some of the first forms of life to appear on Earth and are found literally everywhere. There are nearly 1,000 species of bacteria in the human gut alone. Bacterial cells outnumber human cells in the body 10 to 1. Most of the bacteria in and on the human body are harmless. Prevotella species help break down carbohydrates and simple sugars in the gut. Bacterides species break down animal proteins and amino acids as well as saturated fats. Escherichia coli or E. coli. The majority of E. coli strains are also harmless. It is found in the lower intestines of warm-blooded animals. Some strains cause food poisoning, urinary tract infections, and meningitis. If harmful E. coli is fecal chloroform. It is commonly found in feces and is used as an indicator of human waste contamination in waterways. Although not necessarily directly harmful, it indicates the potential of pathogen transfer from humans or animals to human drinking supplies. These water supplies are used for recreation or direct consumption. Human waste entering a waterway is a public health concern. The number of bacterial colonies after incubation is one parameter that is included as part of the water quality index. The water quality index is used by the state of Ohio to establish the quality of water for all water sources. Fecal chloroform enters waterways mainly through non-point sources, poor drainage from pastures, flooding that can overwhelm city wastewater facilities, and through aging septics. Continue this lesson by playing the virtual boat game. This game will take you on a trip down the Ohio River investigating the possible causes of a fish kill. You will visit some of the likely sources of pollution that can be found along the Ohio River. Discuss the differences and similarities of the measurements you made at each location and discuss how these differences could result in a fish kill. After 24 hours, count the number of colonies that developed on the auger. Divide the number of colonies by the number of milliliters used to determine the number of bacteria per milliliter of water sample. Compare the results of your group got to the other groups in the class. Which water sample had the highest amount of bacterial colonies, and what does this mean for the quality of water collected at that location? 